Welcome to Cornerstone Academy's second virtual benefit in the fall. We thought we would be doing this again. Well, our theme today is On the Move with Cornerstone Academy, and we have that theme because we moved from 1111 North Wells with LaSalle Street Church, where we had 21 wonderful years, to right here at Boulevard Presbyterian Church in Oak Park. And so today, what we're going to do is we're going to do a montage of our new building so you can get a, a sense of where we are, and you'll see a lot of students and activities. And then we'll have some students talk for a little bit. We'll come back and wrap it up, and we'll be done. So come on, let's go take a tour of the building. Difficult to stand, but hold your balance. I just say whatever, cause there is no way you're bound. Everyone falls down sometimes, but you just gotta know it'll all be fine. It's okay. You feel surrounded Gotta give your feet some gravity To get you grounded Keep good things inside your ears Just like the waves and sound it And just say whatever Cause there is no way you're grounded Everyone falls down sometimes But you just gotta know It'll all be fine It's okay Thanks so much for exploring our new space with us. We are so happy here in our new home in Oak Park. At this point, we'd like to take a chance to hear from some of our students and their stories. Please join us. Since coming to Cornerstone, I've improved a lot. I've changed my ways of doing my homework. Um, of doing my classwork, turning things in. I've not been slacking, I've been on it and getting everything done so I can graduate. <laughs> I think a highlight has to be the teachers being really involved with you and making sure you're okay and being very understanding about your work. And if you're turning something in late, they're fine with it. You just let them know if you need help. They're always there to help, email them anytime and awesome staff, awesome teachers. You know, the support from my family of them telling me, you know, pick up 
pick up your slack, you're slacking, pick it up, pick it up, you could do it. And always telling me I always got it and I had a good head on my shoulders, so I, I did it. It's Cornerstone is like, it's more like a, it's more like a family other, other than like a school. Cause like, you can bond, bond with people more, it's smaller and you can get more, you can get like more help and it's easier to focus. I think it was a good decision because in this school, I did way much better in my classes. I have perfect grades in almost every class. So in a way, it was a good decision for me to transfer. My uncle that passed away like in 2019, uh, I knew him very well. And like that, when he passed away, it was very sad for me. It was the saddest I've been. I, we're like kind of different in a way. Like years, he's more like, well, I guess, no, we are kind of the same because he's like very cheerful. He likes to like play around, like make jokes. Like he's really cool, like, uh, like that. And well, I see myself as being like him and like also trying to be funny or trying to be making people happy, like, like him. So in a way I am, but not really. Life is great. I've been doing a lot of things during the pandemic, and this pandemic uh, had me thinking a lot about my life and what should I do. I wanted to go out and help more in the community and uh, be that support for our young peers. We just passed uh, 200 meals out each Tuesday to the family that's in need, and uh, we set a table up on a corner and we just pass it out for whoever uh, needed. And we was doing them uh, snow days, rainy days, hot days. We was, you know, we just constantly at it and thankful to uh, our pastor who hold us accountable to it. I've lost so many family members within the past year because of COVID. And it's like, how many more, you know? My, my Aunt Tirini, um, she lived with us for a few months. Um, and when she passed, I felt like a part of me left with her. Um, we were really close. I talked to her about everything. She was my support system. Like, she was just like my best friend. And, you know, I can't sit there and I can't talk to her every day. I can't just tell her how my day was. Um, can't sit there and watch her favorite show together because she's not here. And I just, you know, wish that I could go back and spend more time with her and just, you know, tell her and just have her tell me that everything's going to be okay and just, you know. Losing people that I love, I, um, I have a good support system, I will say. So, you know, when I go, when I do go down on like a rough patch, I know that I have, I can like turn to my sister, I can turn to my mom, I have people that I can talk to and I have people that will build me up and support me. So with just, you know, knowing that I have that, there's no point in giving up, especially when I know I can take my life and, you know, live it to the fullest. It's gonna be hard, obviously. Staying positive isn't always easy, but, you know, that's my next thing to accomplish in life is staying positive and go far and follow my dreams. Thing that I've been heavy on my chest lately is thinking about, you know, the violence or me and my brother as a young black man is going to make it home. One day I was walking to church and I had my hood on and the police officer just pulled me over and, you know, put me to the car, put me in handcuffs to see if I had, you know, anything like drugs or weed or anything or I'm selling something. And uh, the pastor of a church, he came out and was like, man, you got the wrong kid, you know, and she's not the, he's not that type of guy. So, you know, you know, sometimes there are not people just like that man did for me to stay alive, you know? So like, I would be thinking like, you know, what, what if he wasn't there? It's like, because we moved from our country, there was like having war. So we couldn't stay there. When there, it was 2006 or seven, so we moved to Malaysia. We stayed there for six and a half years, and there I couldn't go to school too because they, we didn't have like a permit, or we didn't have like a state ID or green card over there, so they didn't let us be there, go to school. And after that, we moved to Indonesia. Same thing, 
we didn't have like green card or nothing. We just like have a pass that if the police catch us, we can so show this. This is we are refugee like that. So my first day of school was when I was 13 years old. I'm happy because I'm going to school right now, and my family is safe in one place. They can stay stay in one place right now. We don't have to, like move to different countries, different places. And I'm glad that my God, God help us like save us from the war to come to here. I don't have a plan right now, but I'm trying to work after my, my graduation. I'm gonna go work for a year, then I'm gonna think about my colleges. After Cornerstone, I will be attending Illinois State University, majoring in education and wanting to teach elementary. I would love to be part of like business, so I'm, that's where I'm trying to go to Northeastern Ontario, like business type for accounting or uh, finance. I'm proud of myself becoming a young man that I am and also having other young men look up to me to see what, you know, what young men do. I want to give back to the world, you know, I want to help other people, I want to give back to the people. So that's why, you know, it's where my life, that's where I want my life to go, I want to help others. Thank you for joining us on our second virtual benefit. Uh, Cornerstone Academy's theme this benefit has been again on the move with Cornerstone Academy because we move, but we didn't move far, so stick with us. We're right nearby in Oak Park. We are still the same small private Christian high school that we've always been. We are still taking on students who have started at one place and either need or want to make a change and have. We are still offering top-notch Christian education, stretching, stressing reading, writing, and arithmetic insisting that students get introduced to the world of work, and most importantly, teaching students a Christian path, teaching them to learn to love God and their neighbor. Now, all students pay something to be here, but where most schools cover 80% of their needs with tuition and 20% with fundraising, we are the opposite. So thank you for your past contributions. You've kept us going. And please consider again contributing to Cornerstone Academy. You can do so at our website, www cornerstonechicago.org. Again, that's www.cornerstonechicago.org. Thanks for coming.